Hello fellow alchemists, welcome back. This is our tutorial series on how to deploy Elixir and Phoenix applications. So in this series, what we're going to do is we're going to have just a couple of videos. Each video just slightly different in how you can actually deploy your Elixir or Phoenix app. And we're mostly going to be doing uh, how to deploy a Phoenix application. And so um, I'm going to show you how to deploy this Phoenix application on a droplet on DigitalOcean. So uh, I want to thank uh, DigitalOcean for providing us some credits. And so because of their donation, uh, this is actually sponsored by DigitalOcean. And I wanted to uh, let you guys know that uh, this droplet we're running on DigitalOcean thanks to their uh, generous donation of uh, some credits. And so uh, I also want to show you that this is their smallest size um, droplet, which is just $5 a month. It's one virtual, uh, one virtual CPU, uh, 25 gigabyte of space, and we're running Ubuntu 18.04, which is the latest LTS version. And on this server, I went ahead and I set up uh, Nginx, and I set up Nginx to reverse proxy to our Phoenix application. And uh, the only thing that's missing is that we actually deploy our application to the host. And so here's our current app. Here's our IP address. And if I go here, Nginx is saying I cannot find it. We have a bad gateway because our app is not deployed and running on there. And also uh, on the readme for this application, I went ahead and documented what you need to do along with a link for you guys. So you can get a hundred hours credit from DigitalOcean uh, thanks to their support. So you can try it out, see if you like it. And I think hundred dollars, I mean, you can run quite a few different uh, Phoenix applications, $5 droplets. Um, and I also generated this application without Ecto. So there's no database, uh, just to kind of make things easier. And uh, so the basic setup is actually quite simple. What you need to do is you need to add eDeliver, greater than equal to this version, distillery around 2.0 or higher. And you need to set up uh, eDeliver itself. And so the name of my app is Phoenix Deploy, as you see over here. This is the same IP address. So we're gonna, we're gonna build on that host and we're also going to deploy our app on that host. I'm gonna be using the root user and I'm going to build our app at this path on the server. And this deliver to is going to say where our, uh, where we're going to be hosting our application at, at this uh, directory. Okay, and that should be it. So now the next thing we need to do, so I also added some more tasks and this is all uh, documented within here, uh, the uh, configuration for eDeliver. And this is how we can link our prod.secret file and how we can install our dependencies for NPM, all this kind of stuff. And so the only thing that's left for us to, to do is just to commit our code. So get commit, commit our code. Uh, added in distillery with E deliver. And then there's a very nice E deliver task that we need to run. And I also documented that right over here. Mix E deliver. So you just run this command, mix E deliver update production. So this command itself is able to be run the first time, the second time, so on and so forth. And what it's going to do is it's going to build the app for us. And it's going to uh, start the app. If the app is already running, it's going to restart the app for us. And that's kind of the beauty of this command. So we only need to run run command all the time just to uh, deploy for first time and also start our app. So when we run this, it's going to push our git commits to the build server, which is our same as our hosting server. And it could use old files from last time and make it much faster. 
And because I already was playing with this earlier today, we have uh, some files already there, so it should go a little bit faster. Uh, install our NPM, so it's moving quite quickly. Cool. So it looks like it should be running. And we can easily check to see if it's running by doing mix e deliver ping production, which should send back a pong. Okay, we got a pong back. So now if we go to our app, there we go, our app is up and running on a $5 droplet on DigitalOcean with just a little bit of configuration. Uh, as you can see, I didn't do any kind of styling or anything. It's just a straight Phoenix app, app without Ecto. That's just about it. So again, thank you guys, and thanks DigitalOcean for their sponsorship for, these, uh, for the server for us. Uh, I will do another one to two videos about how to deploy Phoenix um, and the different ways you can do it. Again, this is uh, Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.